Hello, my name is Will Carmack, and I'm going to be showing you how I've mastered the infinite zoom effect with a combination of Photoshop and Adobe After Effects. And before we get started, this amazing video is sponsored by Squarespace. We're going to take a small original clip and make the background so large that we can then zoom out as far as we want. So step one is finding our jumping off point. Uh, in the footage here, I was laying down and my phone was on a tripod facing towards the ground. So I'll export this frame from After Effects and I'll bring it into Photoshop. So if we come up to the uh, crop tool, you'll see that it gives us this little box down here that says generate. What we're gonna do is just make the canvas bigger, as big as you'd like, maybe like double the size, and then click generate and watch as Photoshop kind of creates um, an extended background to your original clip. For this Adobe video, to achieve this look where I zoomed up and it looks like I'm looking down at this forest, I kept typing into the prompt bar, generate canyon forest. Because sometimes if you just let uh, Photoshop guess what the edges of your video are, you might get something really weird. So guide it along the way, telling it what you want. Now you'll notice pretty quickly while you're doing this that your canvas size is now massive. So at this point, let's stop. I'm actually gonna export this whole image and bring it into After Effects. So what I'm gonna do to line this up properly is I'm gonna go um, hit Command K or go up to my composition settings and I'm gonna change uh, the canvas to like 6,000 by 8,000. So we're looking at how small my original video is but we're gonna drag in the giant image we just created. We're gonna lower the opacity so we can see right through it and put it on top of our original clip. We're going to line it up until it's absolutely perfect and we're gonna use a mask to get rid of the part of it where our actual subject is. And we'll feather that out. So now our original clip is perfectly embedded into this giant image behind it. What we're gonna do is click get the pick whip tool and link this giant image to the original clip. So now if we change our composition settings back to normal and we scale out, you can see now we're going way farther than we originally could have. Usually in my case, I wanna do this exact same process like four more times. We're only stopping prematurely and putting it in After Effects now because our Photoshop was making the, this image way too big. But since I wanna rinse and repeat this process, I'm actually in After Effects when we get to the point where we're as scaled out as far as we can go, I'm gonna take another screen grab from the editing software. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Generative Expand in Photoshop on the giant Generative Expand it already created. So same deal, we're just gonna grab the uh, crop tool and expand the canvas to be giant until it's so big that Photoshop would explode if you continued. Now we bring that into After Effects, make the composition size massive so we can drop this on top of everything. Remember, we're gonna lower the opacity so we can line it up with the original clip and we're gonna use a mask to blend it into the rest of this video. And as always, we're using the Pick Whip tool to link this to the original clip. And so now when we change our canvas size back to normal and we click on this original clip and scale out, we're going way farther than you were ever supposed to go. And now I just wanna talk about the fine tuning of the actual zoom effect. So my personal favorite way to do this, I know I've been talking about using the scale tool to scale all the way back, but when it gets to a point where your image size is so large, for some reason, it's like impossible to get a good curve going. So here's my trick. I'm gonna select all of this and I'm gonna pre-comp it. Rasterize this image so like it retains its giant size and I'm going to turn it into a 3D layer and throw in a camera. I like this way better because you have way more control over a camera than just like the scale uh, keyframe in your layers panel, you know? So what I'm doing is once this is a 3D object, if uh, you look at my screen here, there's two sides, my active camera and my custom view one. I'm just going to use the Z position on my camera and go way back. And doing it like this, so you're actually zooming in, zooming out with the camera and not the scale, gives you more control over like rotation with the camera, focal length with the camera, all that stuff. And now we have this incredible zoom out animation. We'll add some motion blur, some color correcting, and you get something like this. And now you guys know how to do the coolest infinite zoom effect in the world, you're welcome. I mean like this effect can be applied to so many things. Like have you ever seen the effect where you like zoom out from earth and you go into space? Or like this one I did for Insta360 where you go from the top of a mountain to the bottom of it on a ski, ski board. Ski board, snowboard. Thanks for watching and let's not forget that this video is sponsored.
by Squarespace. From online stores and marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. Let's say you want to be an incredible business person like me. Squarespace will set you up for all the success in the world. First of all, you can create custom merch all through them. They will help you with the designs. They handle the shipping and the inventory. So all you got to do is show up with a good idea and they'll help you execute physical products that'll help you connect with your audience. But what if you actually already make stuff and you want to sell stuff? Squarespace has you covered. They've got retail online stores that you can build. So if you sell jewelry, maybe furniture, you can list this stuff on Squarespace and you have an amazing retail website. Okay, but what about my content creators and influencers out there? Maybe you don't have like furniture that you're building that you wanna sell. In member areas on Squarespace, you can upload exclusive bonus content that you're not posting anywhere else. You can drive traffic to your website and make profit by monetizing memberships to exclusive content they could only see on your Squarespace website. So become a business person with Squarespace. Create custom merch, sell retail items, or make money through monthly subscriptions to your bonus content. It's incredible. The options are endless. Best part is I got you hooked up with a discount code. So if you go to squarespace.com slash Will Carmack, you'll get 10% off your first website or domain. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Squarespace. I hope everyone learned something today. And where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day.